Oh. oh, what's that? What's that? There's some sort of emblem here. Look. We've been invited to Smash Brothers. <laughs> This fountain pen will be admitted immediately as critical evidence. So, have I omitted anything? Decisive testimony and damning evidence. There's a bright blue sky outside the courthouse today. Perfect weather to ascribe guilt, I feel. I... I don't understand. <laughs> the prosecutor answered us nine months ago. Had none of this man's poise. I don't know about that. Yeah. He started off a he's real jag pretty much off the same. And, yeah. <laughs> Counsel for the defense, you may begin your cross-examination now. Naruhodo-san! I'm taking a nap. No, 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 no. That means. Oh, yes, me. Is there another Naruhodo in my courtroom? Who knows how many there are? Actually, I knew it. I'm surrounded by Naruhodos. <laughs> Keep lawyering, Naruhodos. Actually, there isn't even a single Narahodo in your courtroom. Cousin Ryotaro, pull yourself together, please. All right. I've seen this countless times as a, ju as a judicial assistant. Find inconsistencies in the witnesses' testimonies to prove that they're lying somehow. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. That's how a real lawyer would handle a cross-examination. So let's see what I can do. All right, let's press the statement. You gotta press the first one. We got it. It's on a special surveillance it. assignment in the disguise. Oh, did she like snap? Yeah, she she went hold it. I thought I heard like a little snap. Oh. In that jaunty disguise. Correct. Wait, no. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the first time I've worn this swimsuit for a dip in the ocean. It's tried and tested. Do what must be done to keep the English woman under surveillance. Those were my orders that day. And this tried and tested outfit was the answer. <laughs> Being unable to blend flawlessly into a crowd is an important part of a detective's job. Yeah, he literally tied the two. <laughs> okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, 10 out of 10. Yep, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mr. That's... Turtle. Wait, where did Hosanaga go? <laughs> <laughs> Who, when did this turtle get on the stand? I submerged myself in the, the salty water, talks? leaving only Mr. Turtle floating inconspicuously on the surface. God, Mr. Turtle. Mr. Mr. Turtle loves the water. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's really good. Me too, Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Me too. Mr. Uh, Turtle loves the water. I want that on a t-shirt. Just just as Mr. <laughs> Turtle loves the water. It sounds like a Beatles song written by Ringo Starr. Mr. Turtle loves the water. <laughs> I can't, la, tell la, if, like, I'm Ringo. I can't tell if that's like the most creative insult of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a song Ringo would write. Yeah. <laughs> I like to be under the sea <laughs> with Mr. <laughs> Turtle <laughs> on my head. <laughs> but there was no need for you to blend into the background on this assignment, really, was there? If that made you late arriving on the scene, I think perhaps you had your priorities wrong. He needs to sort out his priorities. <laughs> <coughs> I want the turtle to cough once, too. That would be so I mean, we got to get more turtle animation. Oh, we're a prime presser. Got another achievement, yeah. Perhaps I shouldn't pursue this line of questioning any further at the moment. 
Alright, uh, secondly, I do want to look at the new pieces of evidence we got, because we did not properly. Yeah, yeah. Let me just see this first, because I do appreciate that she yeah, has again. several different masks just lined up over here. Uh-huh. <laughs> but wait, like a... is the goose dead? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the goose is uh, also yeah, dead. Like, their life forces are bound together. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's her stand. When one yeah. dies, so the other does as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, so she's got like a purse. Yeah. The wine Shoes. bottle. Okay, it is a little strange. So the wine must have been empty. That's probably going to be important because it's knocked over and there's no mm -hmm. wine coming yeah. out of it. She, she's, oh, yeah, she's holding the pen. Lots of masks. There's feathers and a lot of footprints. Oh, yeah. A lot, yeah, of, a lot footprints. of footprints. <clears throat> all right, all right. Uh, and it looks like the footprints are underneath her. So that might be, that's a, that's an Ace Attorney thing. I mean, it could be it could be from her too, walking before she died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's crying and chopping cute. his neck. Also, that cat looks a lot like Wagahai. <laughs> I'm sure it's a different cat, but it does Damn feel it. different. They've, they've, in, they've infiltrated the mainstream media. Uh, is there there has to be something more to this, right? I feel like it's just the really bland. I mean, Wagahai might be important. The cat might be important. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Look at that. Debate became quite spirited. All right, that's all it says. I mean, it could, it could be a complete red herring, Art. It could be a complete red herring. No, shit! I didn't mean to present it! Your Excellency, I must object to the witness's last statement. Wow, Zach's trying to lose us early. I'm trying to lose us this game early. I know. And the evidence you've thrust in my direction is supposed to prove your point? Yes, because pens have points. And... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> you will kindly refrain from these overly exuberant outbursts, Council. Oh, Be they verbal or material. Because we are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. You really put me in my place there. All right, uh, but I did want to see, just to make sure it was only one stab wound. F single, yep, single deep stab wound. Single, okay. Single, single. Any single stab wounds looking for love on a Tuesday <laughs> night? Hot young single stab wounds. <laughs> hot, hot stab wounds in your area. <laughs> All right, so uh, all has report said one stab, right? Yep. Uh, do you want to? Yeah. Go right to presenting or press this first? Oh, I think I think we just. I mean, we can. It's a first case. It. It's probably. Just, yeah, uh, we don't. We don't have to. Yeah. Press oh yeah. yeah. It straight up says only a single wound. Just yeah. Just present. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we get we we got an objection. This high. <laughs> With that accusatory cry that just welled up from deep inside me. I think I finally understand. Every time Kazuma-sama and Naruhoto-san have stood here at this bench, the stakes have been very, very high indeed. What's the meaning of that menacing pose, Council? I'd like the witness to clarify something for me. <laughs> Who? What? Where? When? How? <laughs> Not you. Not... What Bridge said. <laughs> this query is directed at Inspector Hosanaga. I like this new, like yeah, it's a new new tune. theme. At me. In your statement just now, you said that the victim was stabbed multiple times. Yes, that's right. As I said when I entered the hut. The, the defendant was already standing over the victim, bloody knife in hand like a murderous demon. And yet, that cannot be. What? <laughs> Get to the point, please, counsel. Aw, oh, she's still got it in her book. Yeah. In the post-mortem report, it clearly states that the victim was stabbed one time only. Ah. Oh, are we going to get to listen to the... Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I forgot again. about that. Yeah. In other words, Inspector Hosunaga's testimony. 
is clearly flawed. Uh, and Soseki-san. <laughs> Me? There's the Soseki. There's the yeah, yeah, yeah. we know and love. There he is. Jittery you mass. Claim, you claim to have seen Membami-san in the throes of stabbing the victim. Y yes. Y yes, I did. Wildly. But both you and the inspector confirmed the same point. That there was already blood on the knife that you saw the defendant holding. Yes. And? Taking a big old poop there. Yeah, he does look like he's taking a poop. <laughs> it's quite simple. We know the murder weapon was used to stab the victim only once. Therefore, there is no way there could have been blood on the knife if that single stabbing hadn't already occurred. Uh, true! But what exactly is your contention, Council? Are you ever going to tell us? I mean, it's yes, pretty clear. Your the, the, There's only one logical the conclusion. Is wrong. <laughs> yeah. What Soseki-san in fact saw was not the moment that the defendant stabbed the victim at all, but the moment that the defendant in fact withdrew the blade from the victim's body. You know, I guess after she stabbed her. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That, that can't be! <laughs> Excellent work, Susato. What? You exploded at them with that objection, and then proceeded to pull them apart systematically. <laughs> well, well, this takes me back. Yes, I seem to remember your cousin staged a scene much like this in that trial nine months ago. A half-witted child with a half-baked objection attempting to steal the show. To be fair, Susanto's objection was way better than Ryan's first, like, ten objections. <laughs> That's a good point. You're right. There were certain similarities. Except that so-called half-witted child managed to outwit the prosecution. Who has only half a head of hair. Damn. Slander! My head is quite adequately dressed. <laughs> In any case, all this talk of stabbing and withdrawing and multiple wounds. It makes not a jot of difference. What? Why not? Engage your brain, young man. <laughs> engage your That's brain a... is a wild like... sentence. I love engage your brain, actually. When the accused first plunged the deadly weapon into the victim, that was the fatal blow. And it was that moment, just as she had withdrawn the blade ready for her next strike, that the witnesses saw. The knife was already tainted with blood, because the accused had already stabbed the victim. Uh. All you have successfully shown with your little display... Good ...is God. that the must is that the moustached author is prone to moments of extravagance. Bruh, you okay? Bruh. I engaged my brain too much. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen, actually. <laughs> Engage your brain responsibly, everyone. Mm. I am in agreement with the prosecution. If the defendant was seen wielding the blade at all... That is sufficient grounds for, that, for her actions to be viewed with suspicion. But, but if she was withdrawing the blade... Then we are back where we started. Sorry? Consider this young yokel boy. Uh, just, just, call me my, just call me my Nipponese friend already, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I miss Nipponese friend, my learned Nipponese friend. If the Yokel student girl annoying. is innocent as you claim, then why would she have pulled the blade from the victim? And with a demon's cold-blooded composure, too. The prosecution demands an explanation, and it had better be good. Why did Ray pull out the knife? Ah, yes. Going for the jugular. He is no, a vampire, so that makes not... sense. She was stabbed in the back, not the jugular. Yeah. Hmm? Why does, what does father mean by that? 
Let the court hear your answer then, counsel. The truth is, I don't really know. But I have to come up with a plausible reason here, or we don't have a case. The reason why the defendant pulled the knife blade out of the victim's body was surely so she could... Stab, stab her again! <laughs> again! Stab her again! It's really funny. Another uh, one. Another obviously. one. It's safe. The second it's safe, answer right. is the only one that doesn't make our client look There's, more guilty. Yeah. There was... Your Honor, there was another witness to the crime. DJ Khaled! <laughs> Yo, I was there, and I told her to stab her another time. Another time. <laughs> and then I didn't go down on my wife. It's, it's the two things Listen, I know about DJ you Khaled. You can't, you can't mention DJ Khaled without making that joke. Exactly. Without exactly. mocking him for being too much of a coward. Yeah. According to the post-mortem report, the victim's death was not instant. That's correct. It's thought she would have remained unconscious for a short while after sustaining the injury. Indeed, giving her the time to take hold of this piece of evidence that clearly indicates her killer. Th the, the point is... Being a medical research assistant, Membami-san was compelled to act when faced with the wounded victim. Instinctively, she pulled the blade out in an attempt to save Miss, Brett, Miss Brett's life. <laughs> Did you hear that, Your Excellency? It would seem this is the best we can expect of this young Yoko. Hmm. Indeed. Uh, is it just me, or does it suddenly feel much colder in here? Your Excellency, if I may. Speak, witness. I would like another opportunity to testify. In respect to the slipshod assertion just put forward by the Yokel Defense Council, I mean. Okay, not you too. Not you too. I... Yeah, Slip definitely shot. definitely not you two. We talked about them. Not you two. Slipshot? <laughs> An excellent idea, Inspector. Our young yokel hope our young yokel hopeful has a modicum of knowledge when it comes to the law, it seems. But in matters of medicine. He appears to possess not one iota of common sense. Very well, Inspector. I will permit your request. You will testify again before the court on the subject of the Defence Council's assertion. Yes, sir. I will do so flawlessly. When's the turtle gonna? T When's Mr. Turtle gonna testify? Yeah, I want the turtle. What are the turtle witness? I don't believe you, House Nog. I would always I, believe uh, Mr. Turtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he, he was loves water. House Nog was <laughs> underwater. He was underwater for a while, so he wasn't able to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Turtle, however, had a clear view of the crime That's scene. True. We got, the we got, we got to cross-examine him. Pulling a blade from a wound without thinking could cause heavy bleeding. That's basic knowledge that any medical research assistant with an ounce of sense ought to know. In other words, there's no good reason why the defendant would have tried to pull the knife from the victim. Let's not forget that the young student did have a motive for killing the victim. The man that the victim, the man the victim murdered nine months ago, Dr. Wilson, was the defendant's highly respected mentor. Hmm. Okay, well, that was just a bit tougher this time. Is is what you just said true, Inspector? Could pulling a knife from a wound really cause the wound to bleed heavily? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Think of the weapon itself as a stopper in the wound that prevents excessive blood loss. Until a doctor is ready to provide proper treatment, that stopper shouldn't be removed. Is oh, correct. I... I see... Do not pull ah. things. This is why yokels of... should stay on the farm. God damn it, Ouchie. 
if someone has some sort of object uh, piercing them, do not pull it out until... Well, just don't pull it out unless <laughs> you are a medical professional. Hmm. It does serve as a stopper. Even a quack from some obscure mountain village would have such basic knowledge. Anyone who's ever given someone a little poke with a knife and pulled it out again knows it. Excuse me? What? Excuse me? Uh, Ouchie, I don't need you talking about giving people little pokes. Ouchie, I don't, I don't know Ouchie, if I like you that. you killed someone, bro? Hey, he's just saying he's stabbed someone. <laughs> oh, well, I've never stabbed anyone, you see. Or pulled a blade out of a wound, so... Of course you haven't. I didn't bring you up to behave like a bandit. <laughs> Father, is it true what they're telling me? Yes, it's basic remedial knowledge for medics. Ray would have been well aware of it. If she were to claim ignorance of such fundamentals, that would prove fatal in many ways. But then, why would Ray have done it? Could she have pulled out the knife in full knowledge that it would be fatal for Miss Brett? I don't know. Ray never once mentioned anything about the knife to me. It seems almost impossible to believe, but could my friend actually have... No, of course not. Susato! Yes? Pull yourself together. Remember what these games taught us. Always trust the defendant. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. they are Irish or an actor? <laughs> well, but now Will Powers was good, so that's true. That's true. Unless they Unless uh, or wearing leather. Unless they talk to their wrist too much. Unless they actually have a evil scar on their face that they're concealing. Yes. And always, they, no. always trust your client Don't. unless they're Irish or have evil scars. Unless, <laughs> always trust your client unless they drink chocolate milk out of a wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> or if they're Irish. <laughs> we mustn't lose sight this, of why the we're secret, here. The secret message of the Ace Attorney series, don't trust the Irish. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, are Irish actors double untrustworthy or does the mistrust cancel out? Oh, oh damn! Double. Oh, that means that. Uh, oh no! That means uh, fucking... the most the most evil people are Irish actors. If oh, you ever fuck, have to defend his... uh, what's his name, Brandon Gleason and Dom Hall Gleason, Col or... or Colin Firth, or Colin oh. Farrell, or so evil. Or no, it's Colin Farrell. Is that who I'm thinking of? And they're both actors, but I think Farrell's Irish. Yeah, no. I don't. Firth, I, don't Firth I think is... Firth, I think Firth is British. Firth is one of my favorite actors. Yeah, he's the King's Speech guy. Farrell is yes. the one I was talking about. But I think he's. British. Yeah, he's very British. While Colin Farrell is absolutely Irish. We mustn't lose sight of why we're here. Why are we here again? I was thinking about Irish people. <laughs> Council, it's time for your cross-examination. Oh, <clears throat> yes, Your Excellency. However, I must warn you that if your cross-examination fails to identify any issue with the established facts. I will be moving to my adjudication immediately afterwards. Wait, well, I submit an examination. <laughs> oh, shit. I understand. Believing in your clients and fighting for their cause until the bitter end. I knew it would be hard, but I had no idea it would be this hard. I mean, you, you've been there before, Susanta, you know. You know how I do. Um, I feel like we have to press to get them to say something that's weird. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think anything on know. here is, and uh, we definitely don't have any evidence on mm -hmm. our face to challenge any of these. So yeah, this is definitely gonna have to start with. I have a suspicion that the logic is gonna be that because she's like a medical professional, she would know how to stop the bleeding and that's what she was trying to do, but. I think that's definitely possible as well. But yeah, we definitely can't get there. We really can't get there from here. All right, uh, let's start going from here. Anyone with basic medical knowledge would know this. Uh... Okay, let's start whole statements. All things. In that case, there's an obvious explanation here. Which is? Clearly, 
the defendant, Ray Membami, son, does not possess an ounce of sense. <laughs> not <laughs> helping. What? What do you think about that, Professor Mikotaba? I'm not sure that you should be labeling your best friend as lacking in common sense. Well, I thought it would be better than labeling her as a murderer. I don't know. Young people today. If that's friendship, I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, friends I forgot like these, about this. Friends like these, who needs enemies? Careful, counsel. A lack of common sense can be very, can be a very dangerous thing. God damn. Are you threatening to beat us to death with your gavel? Like what? Like what, bro? <laughs> bro. Oh dear. That recoiled on me rather badly. That's life, I'm afraid. A lesson everyone must learn. Hopefully you can see now that this is really basic medical knowledge. Being involved in medical research, Membami-san would certainly have been well aware of it. There's hey, no fair, what medical there. research does she have? Uh, here, actually. What, uh... Does is it, it like... say... What, what do I push to get people? Show me the people. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, Show me the people. Let's press this one. Hold it. But the defendant had suddenly encountered somebody she knew lying on the ground, bleeding to death. The sight could have shocked her delicate sensibilities, causing her to remove the blade inadvertently. I really don't <laughs> think inadvertent actions can explain this. <laughs> Him Dorn. like he's like stroking his hair, Dorn. but also petting the turtle. Petting the turtle. The woman is a medical research assistant. I can't imagine she would behave so irrationally. Oh, but whoa, irrational behavior whoa. is a woman's. But irrational behavior is a woman's prerogative, isn't it? Whoa! Wow, she's she's tr she's really trying to make sure everyone thinks she's a guy by being yeah. sexist. Yeah, yeah. That uh -huh. is, she's like she she she's next leveling her disguise right now. We're all boys here, right? Stupid women, am women, I right? Women, am I right? <laughs> she's gone too deep. You're too deep undercover. <laughs> Susato, you just red pilled yourself. Oh dear, you have a lot to learn about women. <laughs> Gina, wow, is he mad? Is he mansplaining not being sexist to a girl? Gina the Shroud uh -huh. in the chat says, "Women do be shopping." Very good. I fucking love that <laughs> reference. Only a small-minded man could have such bigoted views. Whoa, based wow. Osanaga. Osanaga's based now. Oh dear, perhaps I'm letting my male persona take hold to a little too much. <laughs> I had this strong urge to say, let's a go. <laughs> What's happening to me? Well, have I managed to convey the basics now? That should cover the medical side of the argument. Uh, did, did have a motive. We know that, but I don't really want to press that. That's not what I meant. Uh, Q. Not Hold it. <clears throat> Hold it. You say doing it without thinking could be a problem. Does that mean that if you used due care and attention, it would be all right? Okay. I wouldn't have thought this needed spelling out, really, but... T H E B L A D E I S L I K E A S T O P P E R. The blade is like a stopper in the wound. Remove it and a serious hemorrhage will occur. In other words, a medic would need to be present before any attempt was made to withdraw the blade. Doing it without thinking would be madness. You just can't do it. Oh, well, thank you for such a thorough explanation. You see, Council, when you act without thinking, the result is a bloodbath. Uh, hmm. 
Mm. Back to the witness testimony, please. All right. This might be a press everything then. Uh. Yeah, I think it was that one. Oh, yeah, we certainly, we certainly haven't gotten anything from what we've pressed so far. Yeah. Whatever the motive, it just isn't in Membami-san's nature to do something so awful. But she had both motive and opportunity. That's very hard to argue against. But you don't know the defendant. Objection! And you, counsel, do not appear to know the law. Motherfucker, I know more about the law than you do. Yeah. Top knot ass. <laughs> Vampire incel ass looking ass. <laughs> Bald head ass. <laughs> yes, even is evidence is the only way to convince the court of your argument, not feelings. Hosanaga, I don't need you to lecture me on this. With this fledgling to def with this fledgling to defend her, I would almost say I pity the accused. I pity the accused. So do I. Inspector, you will re reiterate your point about the defendant's motive, please. <clears throat> ah, yes. Miss Brett was in many ways the sworn enemy of Membami-san. Eh? Oh, no. Interesting. Because hmm. you didn't press this, did you? No, this is... This or you, is... Did, you did press it. No, this is, this is the last oh, thing you have we haven't okay. pressed. Hold it! Okay. Well, yes, that's true. Dr. Wilson recognized Membami-san's talent and offered her the position of assistant, despite her being a woman. She was extremely grateful to him. Yes, the Englishman appears to have been a very broad-minded individual. Dr. Wilson had no time for outdated traditions. He met with opposition, of course, but he believed firmly in Membami-san's abilities. Clearly, the defendant was in the man's debt, which only serves to prove my point. This is hopeless. I can't find a single crack in this testimony anywhere. If Ray knew that withdrawing the knife from the wound would threaten Miss Brett's life further, I just can't think of any way to explain why she did it. Susato, it's at times like these when it's especially important to remember the fundamentals. Smile. <laughs> remember, when things get their bleakest, smile. A lawyer's job That's is That's not smile. helping, Dad. <laughs> the fundamentals. Have you tried smiling? Evidence is what counts in the courtroom, isn't it? Of course, but I've been through the court record dozens of times already. I think perhaps you're forgetting something, though. You need to take the evidence The thuggy woman into a poor man who said she wasn't her sworn oh. enemy, was her swan enemy. Uh, oh, that's really good. That is really good. Good job good. to we both of you. We haven't examined the pen yet. You didn't take the evidence at face value. Oh, we did. You can and must did. examine it in greater detail, too. Ah. I realize this is your first time playing the role of lawyer in the courtroom. So if you need reminding of the rudiments, you need only ask. I'll do my very best to help. Examine the evidence in the court record. It's an idea, certainly. What should I do? Let me just look. Oh, see, now I can look up people. Okay. Oh, because uh, you can't present them, so it doesn't want you to look yeah, at them. Yeah, that's annoying, but I get it, I guess. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think we really. I just wanted to see if it mentioned her relationship to John John Wilson, but yeah. She's indebted to him. Bum, bum, bum. Now let's just look at everyone else's real quickly. The lead prosecutor appears to be struggling to... Yeah, we already saw them, yeah. so look at them two new ones. Uh, Very, Imperial Police yeah. Brew surreptitiously submerged in the sea to keep watch over Miss Brett, who's president at the time of murder. Former visiting student to the British Empire, returned to Japan after a spell of bad luck with the law. He's now a successful author and a witness to the current case. Okay. No profile from Mr. Turtle. Tragedy. Unacceptable. Uh, Unacceptable. Yeah. Me, Zero me, out of ten. We can't examine the pen. Just as the initials are. Really? Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Nobody else happens to have those initials, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Rizal Marath. I don't want to ask what. I don't want to ask for a refresher, so. Yeah, don't, because we, we do know what to do. Oh? Come to think of it. Kazuma-sama and Narahoda-san were always turning evidence over and over in their hands. Yes, 
I need to examine things in greater detail with space. Ah, but look in your eyes. You've discovered space. I see it's coming back to you. Discovered <laughs> space. <laughs> Go through the court record again and have a thorough look at everything. You may just find a clue. Look at space. Yes, I'll do it straight away. Now maybe you can examine the pen. That I would, would be, be really. I annoying. would be pretty annoyed by that, but. God damn oh, it! Oh baby! God yeah. damn yeah. it! Yes. Get God annoyed, baby. baby! God <laughs> damn it! Get annoyed, that baby! That is purposely frustrating. <laughs> it's not great. I don't love it. Uh, but hey, let's take a minute to appreciate this art. Susato looks fucking. No, this art is bad. great. God, she yeah. looks so god. Damn, know, cool. She looks, mm -hmm. she looks super cool. I'm Gosh, kind of upset that Ryan's going to is... be the main character. <laughs> I want to see we have to, to go be back to character. Ryan after this. <laughs> I know. The uniform on its own is just so good, and she looks so fucking cool in it with that yeah, that color scheme. Ah, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. God, it would, be so, it would be so cool if she was the main character the whole time. Uh, yeah. What a fucking badass. If we take off the pen's lid. It's a pen. <laughs> Wait. That sounds like a meme joke. I can't remember what I'm thinking of though. <laughs> I take off a little of a pen. It's a pen. Uh, okay. Now let's unscrew oh. the barrel, shall we? Uh, this is me just sitting at my desk. I I constantly am screwing and unscrewing the pen that I have. Oh on my man, desk. I love oh, taking. God. I love taking it's, apart and putting together pens. Yeah, it's such it's a fun, really satisfying. This must be the little reservoir that holds the ink. Yes, you fill it by drawing ink from a bottle up through the nib. It's the what? Because what did you just say? <laughs> I can't say that is, on stream. What was that word, Father? <laughs> is something wrong, Father? Just that there doesn't actually appear to be any ink in there. That's all. Someone must not have used the nib properly. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. It's pretty much empty. Looks like all the ink has been sucked from the nib. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, this nib is pretty firm. Jesus Christ. Okay, stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it could be on the verge of running out, I suppose. Okay. There's a very so there's... small amount of liquid inside. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what that gets us, though. Uh, ah. oh. oh, what's that? What's that? There's some sort of emblem here. Look. We've been invited to Smash Brothers. <laughs> Susato-san, where have you been all this time? <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't come and find you, Ryan, because <laughs> I got an invitation to join Smash. <laughs> but it isn't a Yume University one. It must belong to some other organization, I suppose. A business of some kind? But that would seem to imply that the pen doesn't exactly belong, doesn't in fact belong to Ray. Are we gonna, are we gonna bring in like another witness whose name clearly starts with R.F.? Uh, Prage, I, I mean, a billion percent bet that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> My name. <laughs> My name is. It's Ricardo Roger... Multivod. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Chocolat Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a fake name. Yeah, that's good. My name is oh, Real I... Murderer. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Oh no, this is just someone who really loves the soccer team Real Madrid. <laughs> my name is my name is Croak Madame. <laughs> Why do all their fake names Why are their fake names brunch items? <laughs> my name is the Denny's Grand Slam, only 6.99. <laughs> my name is what is it? Mickey Rooney's Potato Fantasy. <laughs> Potato fantasy? Uh, Is that you, really what it's, it's a called? It's a meme. You gotta see it. Was it. A meme. It's it was so a meme. It was good. a fake advertiser yeah. for a restaurant. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, it'll be on screen in the edit. So enjoy that right now. Incredible. <laughs> the RM initials are very clearly engraved here. And the fact that Miss Brett was clinging to this pen in her dying moments is very clearly a message, too. To identify her killer, you mean? 
I don't think there can be any doubt that this is a key piece of evidence in this case. Okay, well... Well, can we examine other things now? Like, more than we could before? Probably. I mean, I... Yeah, but what else would there be to find in... Oh, yeah, this paper's, uh, yep, paper's completely yep, different uh, now. Okay, yeah, cool. shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ruckus England return... Ruckus England returnees tell all. This is the interview with you and Soseki-san, is it, Father? It looks as though it was quite an exchange. Yes, he became a little over-animated when he was talking about his time in England. Karate chopped me in the neck. <laughs> That's what it <laughs> looks like. Bastard? <laughs> The photographer managed to capture oh, the what? moment his hand karate shot me on the neck. What? Whoa! What? He really did. It's real. I do hope you weren't hurt. Well, that, I got so injured. That's why, we called you that. back. That's why we called you back from England. Wait, uh, go was... back, go back. Are the Chicago Bulls playing? <laughs> oh, shit. Hell yeah, man. We got, they got Scotty Pippen yet? What time are we at? <laughs> <laughs> Pippen, son. Oh, it's gonna, this is gonna be another of the important shits on the back. Yeah, this this is Wait. literally it's gonna be. Oh, uh, hey. Wait. Foreign nationals are stealing information. Did you did you guys point that out that that's Ouchie's? It does look like Ouchie's hair. It does look like and Ouchie's hair actually. It even has like a little thing on the top and like For an his arrow dot. pointing to yeah. it. Yeah. Wait, what? Look uh, at the center left. Oh. It looks like oh, Ouchie. Yeah. Okay. It looks like I, a profile I, I, I shot of Ouchie. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's for like a hair growth serum. I bet it funny. is. Hair growth serum. This is the newspaper from Suseki-san. There seems to be an important article on the back page as well. Exclusive. Deadly okay. poison stolen from Yume Medical Research Laboratory. Another fucking poison, huh? Also acts as a great hair growth treatment. <laughs> from Yume's Medical Research. Father, isn't that your lab? What the? Let me see that. Poison's been stolen? It's this morning's paper that Soseki-san gave us. Are you saying you didn't know? As embarrassing as that is for the head of the laboratory, I didn't. I've not heard any such thing. Where on earth could the reporter have gleaned this information? Come to think of it, there was no article mentioning this story in our paper this morning, was there? It's a highly toxic poison we've been working on in the strictest confidence. It's called Curare 2. <laughs> <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Poison You. <laughs> I put Ray in charge of the project. Ray? She was managing it. If what's written here is true, it means that she tried to hide the theft from me. And moreover, the details were leaked somehow. I... I don't believe it. Okay, so there was poison in the fountain pen. Yeah, a billion percent. Yeah, like, come on. Yep. We need to read this article very carefully. Uh, my father doesn't know about it. Oh, uh, well, I guess we did. Because that was... Okay, well. That's the paper. <clears throat> Alright, let's look at that picture. Okay, this one we can't do the thing with. Okay, great. Um, so can we can we examine certain parts of it or? No, it just it just okay, zooms. Okay, just it doesn't give you. Uh, uh, look at the look at oh, the autopsy report one more time. A, oh, we get a, it's a, a separate one. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, 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 great. Following the lecture, uh, come, up, come to light that a very disturbing incident took place. A deadly poison being secretly developed in the university's forensic science laboratory was stolen. Even the smallest amount entering the body via the mouth or via a wound from poison-laced blade would prove fatal in minutes. Current methods cannot detect the newly developed chemical. The university okay. would have to be consulted. So they're, we're going to say she pulled it out because she thought there was poison in it. Yeah. And wanted to get the poison. Yeah. Onset uh, of symptoms occurs in minutes, starting with impaired breathing and, oh, shit, ending with the acute contraction of the pupils prior oh, to death. Oh, there we go. Such symptoms would be suggestive of this toxin. It's apparently an entirely new synthesis of alkaloids and rumored to have been commissioned by the military. Alkaloid sounds like a... Military. Alkaloid sounds like a 1990s, like, 
marketable superhero I, cartoon. I do want to give a shout out to Infamous Dorky. Infamous Dorky in the chest is a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. It's really funny to me. Um, <laughs> there's no good reason. There why it is. It, yep. Okay. Present. Okay. The missing Present poison. The, the poison. Cusco's poison. <laughs> No, there is one possibility. One very good reason why the defendant might have decided to withdraw the knife from the victim's wound. What? Ha! The yokel not only has a poor grasp of the law, but is also a poor loser. Up. Tell us then, what possibility do you think you've identified? It's here, in this newspaper article. An article about a deadly poison having been stolen from a laboratory at the Imperial Yumei Unit. Attention! The victim perished from a stab wound. Poison has no relevance in this case. But. Prosecutor Aichi, you will let the defense mm -hmm. speak. Got him. But. but a newspaper article? The court cannot rely on the kind of hearsay those wretched publications carry. Everybody knows it, it, it's the media. Fake news. It's fake news. <laughs> yeah. We should all just listen to Joe Grogan, son. <laughs> Free thinkers. <laughs> Counsel for the defense. I'm going to need some tangible basis for your claim. Okay, the autopsy yeah. report. Which page? You'll indicate to the court precisely what part of the newspaper article made, uh, mentioned affirms your assertion. Your Excellency. Yes, of course. Thank you. Or you would never have done something to further endanger Miss Brett's life without just cause. The reason why the defendant pulled the knife from the victim's body is explained in the article where it says... Uh, probably deadly, deadly and, and tiny, and tiny, tiny quality. Uh, no, Let I me, think it was the third page that said it. Let me double check. Um, would prove fatal in minutes. Uh, this one is the one that suggests the it's pupils. Oh. Okay. So why is the poison being developed? Well, if we're, if we're looking for the reason why she pulled the knife from the victim's body. Oh, it that's true. It would be deadly in tiny quantities. That's true. Let's try that. Because that's it's not asking what the symptoms, like, right, what right. connects it. The article reveals the following property about the poison in question. When a toxin enters the body on a knife laced with the poison, it's rapidly absorbed and causes death in minutes. Uh, are you suggesting? If the knife used to attack Miss Brett was laced with this very poison, it would explain... Why the defendant, Membami-san, would have withdrawn the blade as soon as possible. Yes, the truth is... Hey! It was an attempt to stop the poison from entering the victim's body. What? Attention! This is complete and utter nonsense! Not at all! The defendant withdrew the knife blade from the victim's body not to accelerate the woman's demise, but to save her life. And the prosecution cannot deny the possibility. Have you not read the post-mortem report? The cause of death was hemorrhage. The word poison appears nowhere in the document. Well, well, that's... That's because by acting quickly to remove the blade, the defendant prevented the poison from taking hold... Oh, please. This is clearly desperation. The weasel's last breaking of wind. What? <laughs> the weasel's fart. Yeah. <laughs> but not, not to be confused nothing. with the stoat fart, which smell yeah. great. Those Very are close fantastic. Very closely related animals, though. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, stoat farts are a major component in most perfumes. <laughs> Poison has nothing whatsoever to do with this case, as I believe the defense is well aware. We have no proof that the information in this wretched newspaper article is at all reliable anyway. In that situation, what the student should have done is wait for medical assistance to arrive. But instead, you claim she suspected poisoning and 
took the potentially lethal decision to remove the blade. She must have had a strong reason for her suspicions then, or the argument makes no sense. Exactly! Well put, Inspector. On what grounds did she do it? Hmm? Yoko? Why did Ray, sus Why did Ray suspect the stolen poison was involved? If you want grounds, I'll give you grounds. With a Susato takedown. <laughs> I mean, now a Ryutaro see... takedown. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> you, you can't possibly. From your expression, Council, it would appear that those are not empty words. But naturally, as you stand in this courtroom as a lawyer, you must be aware that words alone, empty or not, are of no value in our modern justice system. The court demands evidence. Yes, Your Excellency. I'm well aware of that. I've seen it many times, from my place at his side in the Old Bailey. In that case, Counsel, you will present the proof to the court now. What evidence demonstrates a clear link between this case and the poison in the newspaper article? Uh, uh, the newspaper article again? Yeah. Oh, no, the autopsy, the autopsy report. Oh, oh, because her... Office. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, extreme meiosis, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and then we're going to say what part of the thing is uh -huh. related, probably. Oh, yay, we get to hear her say it. I love it. I would ask the court to refer to the notes section of the post-mortem report, which reads, Extreme meiosis, pupil constriction, was observed in the victim. Oh. Clearly, being a yokel with no knowledge of forensic science, I have no idea. So please, do tell me. Damn. Presumably, the fact that this condition of the victim was noted in the post-mortem report means that it's an unusual symptom of death. Yeah. Well, under normal circumstances, the pupils dilate when someone dies. If there was extreme constriction instead, that's most certainly unusual, yes. What are you doing, you yokel detective? Not everyone's a yokel, bro. <laughs> Do you actually know what that word means? Yes. <laughs> In the newspaper article, there's the following information about the stolen poison. Onset of symptoms occur in minutes, ending with acute contraction of the pupils of the pupils prior to death. What? If the defendant, upon seeing the victim stabbed in the back, happened to notice that the pupils of Miss Brett's eyes had constricted severely. Yes, as a medical research assistant, she would have suspected poison immediately, without doubt. <laughs> Prosecutor Auchi, I think you'll agree. This is very compelling evidence. You, you, yokel student and yokel professor! I believe the defense has expertly demonstrated a credible reason for the defense's actions. I also, something that I think is a very, uh, I think, intentional detail that I mm. just noticed is that this judge never has to call for order, I don't think. Mm, because I think point. he always just bangs his gavel just and once and then the up. court goes silent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's supposed to be like a comment on Japan's kind of, courtesy nature yeah, of yeah. like yeah the deference to this... authority mm -hmm. yeah and in great britain it's probably more common for people to just be like oh my god what's going on blah, 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 blah. so <laughs> so think... says it's a comment on americans being rude so the game literally takes place in england i don't know what to tell you <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah i just noticed that and i feel like that's intentional i don't think that that's an accident or like yeah. they just didn't want to throw in an order 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 no eugene mikotaba yes your excellency i believe you are best placed here to confirm or deny the veracity of the defense counsel's argument 
You will tell the court the truth about the details reported in this newspaper, please. It pains me to have to admit it. Oh, I was just saying, I feel like this is a good stopping spot. <laughs> if he's about to say oh, something yeah. cool and controversial, unless unless we should move like two seconds ahead. To get I was going to say, let's hear what he has to say. And if yeah, there's I thought we should move two seconds good... ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm afraid I don't know. Well, that wasn't spicy you, at all. You <laughs> don't know. The toxin was kept under lock and key in my laboratory, certainly. But I was unaware of any theft. Do you mean to tell the court that the reports of this theft are unfounded? No, Your Excellency. Without returning to the laboratory, without returning to the laboratory to investigate myself, I couldn't say. Mikotaba is about to go back to the lab again. <laughs> oh, apparently there's it to be continued soon. Good. <laughs> Listen to the bumbling academic. My guy, what? It, you had to have gone to law school, so you're an academic. Unaware. Why did you call my Yoko? Yeah. <laughs> Unaware of the theft of secret state research from his own workplace until he reads of it in the newspaper. I take full responsibility for the incompetence of my supervision. Father. <laughs> a pitiful situation for a university professor. You should have more control over your students rather than allowing them off on killing sprees. Oh my god. That's that's totally unfounded. <laughs> <laughs> that O face. I was to say, who's it gonna be? I, yeah. Oh, she's up on the stand. What are you doing up here? None of this is Professor Mikotaba's fault! It's all it's all my fault! Ray. Man, Bobby, son, you said accused here. Outbursts like this will not be tolerated. But it was me. I'm also really out of shape. <laughs> I was the one who noticed the poison we were developing had been stolen that day. What? So you knew. I'd, I'd been placed in charge of overseeing the project. It was the day... It was the day that the professor and Suseki-san were interviewed together for the newspaper. That's when I noticed that some of the poison was missing. Just a tiny amount, it was. Just, you know, enough to fit into a fountain pen. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, why didn't uh, you let me know? Why, why didn't you let me know, or something like that? I... I was scared. The whole project was supposed to be confidential. Some of the toxin had somehow been taken. So I decided I'd try to get it back before anyone else found out. Because I had a very good idea who the thief was. That's important. The thief? You, you don't mean... Yes, of course. It was that dainty English woman. Miss Giselle Brett. That's why I decided to join that little group of people going to the seaside. Inside the beach hut, I confronted Miss Brett. But she just sat on a stool in the back of the hut, smiling sweetly at me as if she knew she was untouchable. Oh, shit. Oh, it's me. I think that's you. I know it was you who stole the poison. Well, now, whatever do you mean? And then, she suddenly got to her feet before falling to her knees in front of me and then collapsing on the floor. That's when I saw the knife in her back. I couldn't understand what had just happened. And then, a moment later, I was seized with fear. The pupils of her eyes had... They shrunk to sh tiny pinpoints. I don't believe it. In other words, you realized that the victim was suffering the effects of the stolen poison. My mind started racing. I hadn't seen anything past Miss Brett's lips at, uh, whilst I'd been with her. 
which left only one possible way for the poison to have entered her body. On the blade of the knife in her back. And that train of thought was what spurred you to withdraw the blade. Yes. In the, if the amount that had entered her bloodstream was small enough, she might still have a chance. That's what I'd hoped. Really. I... I'm so sorry for staying silent all this time! Your attempt to hide the truth of what happened is not something that can be overlooked. However, I've duly noted the courage with which you confessed in the end. Thank you, Your Excellency! It's barely perceptible, but I do think the balance has shifted a little here in this courtroom now. Your Excellency, do not be deceived! The victim just collapsed before your eyes, you say? Well, Membami-san, if that is the case, perhaps you could explain how Miss Brett came to be stabbed. Throwing knife from the outside. <laughs> well, um... You have no answer, because the simple truth is that you stabbed the victim motivated by revenge. But you have no conclusive evidence to prove that assertion, do you? Oh, I have evidence. And it is very much conclusive. Oh, shit. What's the prosecution counsel up to? It was brief, but he hesitated for a moment there. I'm almost sure of it. You will produce the aforementioned evidence at once, Prosecutor Archie. Perhaps some praise is due, young yokel student. God damn it. What? I had imagined there would be no need for me to submit this evidence. But you've brought this on yourself. Okay. What the? Could a more damning shot exist? The cruelty in the air on that beach is almost palpable. Wait, was we? Could we see your eyes in that picture? We did. Yeah, they we were got closed, closed, but we could see them. This evidence, more than any other, reveals the true extent of the accused's murderous nature. For it shows the precise moment that Mimbami-san plunged her dagger into the victim's back. could not it still be the moment she's pulling the knife out? Yeah, it literally doesn't make sense. No, that's not true. No. I... I don't believe it. Yeah! Order! Oh, here we go. Oh, psh, never mind. Order! Order! Counsel for the defense, was it you who was responsible for that shrill little scream that just pierced my courtroom? Perhaps his voice has yet to break. These yokels are slow of mind and slow to mature. Fuck off, dude. Shut up! My balls, which I have, have totally dropped! <laughs> I'll show you who's slow to mature. Careful now. Susato is starting to show her face here. <laughs> it is often said that a picture is worth a thousand words. And here we have ample proof. The court will accept this extremely... Cogent? Cogent? Yeah, yeah. cogent. What does cogent mean? Uh, like, in this case, like... It's just mean, like, clear or logical. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like you, you, you can make a cogent argument. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. exactly. That tends to be where you... This uh, extremely cogent used. photographic print is evidence. I can't believe he has a photograph. I can't believe he's had a photograph like that up his sleeve this entire time. It's such a stark image. I'm genuinely lost for words. Wait a minute. I. I don't understand. How did you. I mean, who took that photograph? That's a good point. Who did take that photograph? 
vain. Objection! That's of no importance here. Stop trying to divert attention. Oh. Objection! That's an absurd thing to say. It's crucially important. Whoever took this photographic print was a witness to Miss Brett's death. The court must be allowed to hear this person's testimony. Yeah! I will uphold the thing she's coming, dude? Yeah, what? <laughs> I was going to say, that's probably why he didn't want to present it. Uh -huh. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's why he held it. The prosecution will reveal the identity of the person responsible for taking this photograph at once. $20 says this person's the Well, <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. What? Pardon? You see, this print arrived at the Imperial Police Bureau headquarters by express post yesterday. But there was nothing to indicate the sender's name or address. The provenance of the print is unknown. Goodness. Are we to understand then, Counsel? That in full knowledge of the fact that this photographic that this photograph has the murkiest of origins. You nevertheless you nevertheless believe it fit for submission as evidence in the Supreme Court. When you first produced that print before, I noticed that you hesitated for a brief moment. Because you knew that it wasn't completely reliable evidence, didn't you? Silence! You yokel student and blabbering professor! What matters is the blatant truth that this print so eloquently expresses. But the defendant has already admitted to pulling the blade from the wound. Did I mention that it's a German photograph? <laughs> oh, well, then we have to let it into evidence. God damn it. <clears throat> Clearly, this isn't the moment that the knife was plunged into the victim's back, but the moment it was withdrawn. Don't waste the court's time with your ramblings. Indeed, without knowledge of who produced this print, we have no means of verifying the claim. And the scene it captures is without doubt the most compelling evidence presented to the court. If the defense is unable to shed any further light on the matter, I believe the conclusion is clear. Oh no! Susato, this is the time for you to fight. If what you've established so far is true, then there can be no doubt. This photograph shows the moment that Ray withdrew the blade from the victim. Yes, we just need to prove that somehow. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to rue your defeat on the slow train back to the provinces. And to rue the day you came up against Takatsuchi Auchi in a court of law. If I can't determine who took this photograph, and the trial is going to come to an end. There must be a clue somewhere. There must be a way of working out who took it. Well, Counsel? Your Excellency. Yeah, where is that question... to be continued yeah. you said was coming up yeah. soon, y'all? I think, to... actually, let's uh, let's just call it here. Let's just You're call never it here. We right. got to a, we got, yeah. we got to a We got to a presentation. We'll get here next week, guys. Yeah. We'll get there. Uh... Folks, that is going to do it for another stream of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Uh, we'll be back next week, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can catch us on twitch.tv slash team. And if you'd like to support us, we'd appreciate that as well. Head over to patreon.com slash team. But until next time, court is adjourned. Soapy, enough hot girl shit. It's time for some cute boy bullshit. This is the first joke in my head since ever I started drawing you guys instead of the main characters. Guys, we need to brainstorm. Women aren't allowed in the courtroom and I need to defend someone. What do we do? Maybe if I wore a disguise. Yo! Hey! Wow! Oh, yeah. yeah, we just gushed about how cool oh, the outfit yes. is. Now it's Wes in that outfit. I win the stream today. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, Sophie. This is rad as shit. That's really cool. Uh, just a random idiot. We're starting this this case with some old art with a new character. Also, I've had a nickel for every time this the first case in Great Eastern Chronicles had me shipping a new gay ship. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird to have it twice. Uh, no, it's super cute. <laughs> uh, and I mean, yeah, we we talked about it, but holy crap, the uh, the 
The tension in that scene is, is absolutely wild. <laughs> Palpable. Mm -hmm. James with the lesbians ever old drawing. Very cute. Aww. The lesbians ever. Uh, we've got a casual Van Zeeks. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, my learned friend? Do you perhaps have the desire to join me? Goddamn. Goddamn, James. Emma, hello, everyone. I'm back again with the girlfriends ever. Yeah. Aww. They're so cute. I do I do really love Ray's design uh, as well. It's just like adorable girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, those are two completely different people. <laughs> hello, hello. I come with new things. I uh, have to get the obvious ones out of the way. <laughs> hey, Professor. Oh, thank you for doing this one. 10 out of 10. Hey, Professor Mikotepa, sorry I'm late. I was doing stuff. It's okay. I am stuff. Oh my god, Susato, no! <laughs> Ray, you are kissing my daughter. <laughs> I love that fucking meme. It's so funny to me. Uh, next up is the mascots. Ray, remember me, is a goat. Suseki's PR is pigeon roadie. Giselle... Birdette is a swan. Horn Sanaga is a horned lizard. The pigeon has two versions. One to be more consistent with the mascot style. The other one to be more pigeon-like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the commitment to pigeon-like. Yeah, the, the pigeon actually kind of inspired choice. Like, I feel like a news reporter yeah. pigeon is really, really good. <laughs> uh-huh. These are all he's gotta, super he's gotta, cute. He's got to soak up those crumbs wherever he can get them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and a new dashing defense attorney has arrived on the scene. Yeah, oh, hell that's yeah. so cute. Uh, Yen tweeted this really earlier. Cute. It's it's fantastic. I love this so much. It's very good. They're so cute. Thank you, Yen. Saxy, with uh, part three, Susan, the jujitsu assistant, standing strong with grace and beauty. I'm like a certain rookie lawyer who only looks too, who only looks too young to be drinking. I'm fairly certain Susato is actually too young. <laughs> that makes this milkshake style cocktail even better for hiding the evidence. Good old Nesquik strawberry Aww. syrup gets turned on its head with punches of plum wine, creme de cassis, and a green tea liqueur, all blended with vanilla ice cream and whole milk. I really wanted to go out making it pretty with fresh fruit and mint to match Susato's sweet tooth, but alas, living this far north means such things aren't available most of the time. Please imagine this gummy spearmint candy is a sprig of real mint, and the maraschino cherry is actually a fresh sliced strawberry. No, it's oh. so good. Oh. Yeah, listen, the maraschino cherry is probably still <clears throat> fantastic with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just like ups the, it just probably ups the sweetness value of it, which I would love because I love sweets. No, this is this looks incredible. Uh, I like I, yeah. I like a good boozy milkshake drink. So, yeah. ten out of ten. <clears throat> Infamously dorky with rehydrates the raisins. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now they look yeah, good, boy. This, this fucking, like, Starsky and Hutch looking ass <laughs> gant is so good. King Kiron, Ryutaro, and Membani. Uh, since she's impersonating Naruhoto, I just have to apply makeup to cover up her being a Waddle D. Oh, that's good. And I had a mouth crudely drawn on. Also, Membani is green slash moss green because that was one of her cl uh, colorations in early concept art Aww, yeah <laughs> i love it i like the idea that yeah as this like fake kirby uh her mouth just never moves <laughs> but you hear words coming out you just hear <laughs> wow you're like did, did you say something <laughs> <laughs> did you polio i didn't Hold see your mouth it. <laughs> uh jack oh my god yes you nailed this <laughs> God, you crushed the art style so good. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We got to read we got, this. Yeah, we got the text. Yeah. We got the text. How about a kiss for luck? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go to us after oh, Kazuma oh, told oh, them oh, the redhead oh, 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 oh. <laughs> God, Susato's eyes are fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> but that is how they look in the fucking You're game. almost in time for Japanese dinner. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ryunosuke, all lawyers strive for peace in their day. <laughs> God. Or this is the peace that all lawyers strive for. Whatever the quote is. Uh, either way, Jack, this is incredible. Uh, you absolutely crushed this. <laughs> Tune RL got the fantasy football uniform Susato y'all asked for. Yeah! Yeah! Football! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so good. I love it. Yeah. You look so good. <laughs> let let her play football. <laughs> let him play, ref. Blue with I like her. She's really cute. We d we do too. We all like yeah. her. This this looks like she's in the middle of her sailor transformation. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. <laughs> Ray transform. <laughs> Very good. Heck yeah, Blue. By the power of lesbians, I will punish you. <laughs> Miles slash Ash, uh, my wife Eugene from a few days ago, and a quick Ryutaro from like an hour ago. Yo, I mean, listen. Looking me, great. Both of me goes to those. He is Looking daddy. Good. And uh, this this Ryutaro is really fucking good. The shading and everything is fantastic. Yeah. She looks like she's on like yeah. a Beatles album or something. Or no, not a Beatles, the uh, Gorillas. You, t you too. It's on that Gorillas outfit. You know what I'm talking about. And Corona Wizard, hey all, I've decided to take a break in order to catch up and play the game myself. Missed being in the chat, but it was definitely fun listening in on the later bits. Still planning on dropping art, but for now, here's some sketches based on memes I haven't got around to drawing back in the early GAC episodes. All right, let's check the patch notes for the great Ace Attorney. <laughs> it is no longer possible to try for baby with the Reaper of the Old <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Get in. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going dying. <laughs> <laughs> Racisting. 